On this video, I respond to subscribers' questions about getting customer reviews, give you three important things to remember, and a bonus tip that no one else will ever tell you. Hey, my name's Matthew. Welcome back. And if you're currently not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, smash the bell icon. That way, you'll be the first to know every time I release more information about how to fix your car count get more customers, and finally make the money that you know you deserve. On a recent video, Charles Hale asked me a question. Matthew, any way you can maybe expand a little more on the frequency of these texts? For example, do we send this type of text every time a customer visits, or should we send them every other time? Just trying to figure out what that threshold might be before it becomes annoying. Great question, Charles. Thanks. And Charles went on to say, it's almost the equivalent of asking someone verbally, can you do me a favor? Most of us automatically say yes. Once again, great information. Thanks. Charles, you're absolutely right about everything you said, and I'm going to give you a pro hacker tip to help you out. Number one, when you ask a customer, hey, I've got one quick question, you said it's just like saying, hey, can you do me a favor? We typically all say yes. Why? Because we're all pretty much hardwired the same way. It's only going to take a second or two. Sure, I'll give, do you a favor. Sure, I'll answer a quick question. So that's an important part of getting this one question review done. Secondly, I want to be sure you don't forget to set up that question with in 50 words or less. That just makes all the stress go away. I don't have to worry about writing you an essay. Well, if I do want to write you one, I'm sure you'll agree to it. But set that question up within 50 words or less. And number three, you're right about not being annoying. So here's what I do with every private client that I start with. We start with a calendar, a calendar of the next 12 months. And then we go ahead and block that off into three month segments just the way I've shown you here. Now, the best place to get calendars like this in PDF is at time and date. I'll leave that link in the show notes down below so you can grab your own. What I like about this is it really gives me a view from 30,000 feet. You sort of know where you're marketing for the rest of the year. So what we'll typically do is the first quarter, we'll do customer reviews. The next quarter, we'll do customer referrals. The next quarter, we might do a thank you card campaign. And the last quarter, we might do an oil change reminder. Most of this is done by text messaging, but here's the key elements that you are continually marketing and touching your customers in some different way, whether it be direct mail with thank you cards, whether it be text messages, getting customer referrals, and that lets you monitor, adjust, and you know make the changes that you need to make. Now, here's a bonus tip that no one else is going to tell you. There's a real importance to getting customer reviews. And why? Because we're all hardwired the same. And when we make a comment like a review, we defend it. That's just the way we are. As an example, if I were talking to you about tools and you told me, hey, you thought Snap-on tools were the best tools and I started to direct you somewhere else, you would defend your position with Snap-on tools. Why? Because you want to be consistent. That's what we're all about. Once we make a statement, we want to be consistent with that statement. So if you told me that you were a Snap-on tools fan and next week I saw you looking at some other tools, well, then people are going to start thinking maybe you're not as consistent or, well, we won't go into other name calling things. But you understand that when a customer gives you a review, they will defend their position. That's just the way we're hardwired. None of this is sponsored or paid for to use Snap-on tools. Fill in any tool company name that you want. So before you go, in the comment section below, Tell me what you liked about this video and about the strategy that I shared. And while you're here, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Hit the likes button. Yes, they tell me it does help. And ring the bell icon so you're always notified when I upload new information about how to fix your car count, get more customers, and finally make the money you know you deserve. My name's Matthew, and I can't wait to see you on the next video. Take care. Talk soon.